Hi friends, happy Friday. Today we're going to be reading about the weather. When we finish our story, I would like you to draw a picture showing me what you learned about the weather. Okay, here we go. Weather. That's a cool tiger on there, right friends? Whoosh, the wind blows through the trees and the long branches sway and dance in the breeze. It's a windy day. Windy, sunny, and rainy are all different kinds of weather. Weather is always changing. Just watch, you'll see. The wind can be fast or slow. It can push boats across water and blow hats off heads. Whoops! Sunshine. On sunny days, the sun shines bright, warming the earth. Sunflowers and daisies turn towards the sun to soak up as many of its rays as they can. See the pretty flowers, friends? The sun can make the air feel hot, just right for a rest in the shade or a swim. Ah, that feels nice. Clouds. Clouds are made of tiny drops of water that float together in the sky. On sunny days, you might see big puffy clouds. When they block the sun, they make patches of shade on the ground below. Some clouds are thin and feathery and float high in the sky. Some clouds cover the sky like thick gray blankets. Drip drop. When dark clouds roll in, rain might be next. Like today, friends, it was raining outside. One by one, drops of water fall from the clouds above. Pitter-patter, split-splat. Brr! When it's cold enough, water droplets in the clouds can freeze and fall to the ground as snow. Down drift snowflakes one by one. When thunder rumbles and lightning flashes through the sky, get ready for a thunderstorm. Thunderstorms can bring lots of rain and lots of loud noise. Boom! After a storm ends, the sun peeks through the clouds again. Animals shake the rain off. Let's go outside. The sun is shining. There are puddles to splash in. Wow! And rainbows to see! Today, Miss Hazel spoke to you, friends, about rainbows, too. A rainbow happens when sunlight shines through the tiny raindrops floating in the air. Have you ever seen a rainbow? Wild weather. Here are some ways the weather can be wild. 
we have a tornado, a flood, a hurricane, drought, hail, and a blizzard. Watching the weather. Scientists who study the weather are called meteorologists. Can you friends say that word? Meteorologists. Here are some of the tools they use to predict what the weather will be like. Predict. That means they're going to guess what the weather is going to be. So they use a satellite the anemometer, the weather balloon, the windsock, a rain gauge, and thermometer. What should you wear? When you head outside, it's important to have the right gear for the day's weather. Can you see these clothes and other items? and match them with the weather they're best for? What should you wear when it's sunny and hot, rainy and wet, or snowy and cold? All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed our story for today. And maybe now you can draw me a picture, show me what you learned and what you liked the most about the weather. Bye friends, enjoy your weekend.